this is the most difficult except from the Mozart 40 symphony and uh, we have to try to discover it why it's so difficult first of all because we have to find the the Mozart way of playing the Mozart style which is different from Beethoven or Strauss or Brahms and of course because there are a lot of notes that has to be uh, played well. So, let's begin. As you can see, the balzato, or better, the spiccato, it's very, completely different be, uh, from the Beethoven one. It's sticky, it's very short. You have to try to, to let the audience understand every note you play. It's, it's not easy because if this passage uh, were by Beethoven, maybe we can play. It's, but it's by Mozart, so we have to try to, to do with a sticky bow. But we have to make music, and we have to make music uh, in this moment. Try to play like a violin, and not like a double bass. You have to understand that it's music, and all often bass players play this this accepts like this. And it's not music, it's not music at all. You have to try to make... Non-accent. And then... It's very difficult also these passages. You have to study you can make the older fingering which is but there are two main shifting and I prefer this one and pay attention of this G minor and then so we have Here we have the same difficulties. Try to study. Here we have another 
difficult passages. <laughs> After, we have another difficult accept, which is at measure bar 191, which is... Why it's so difficult? Because we have an arpeggio, you can make this finger or that finger, but you have to play like this, and then we have this. You have to um, make this note and not so and not it's one of the common mistakes to do like this you have to play and then you can look that you can see that there are um, which in Italian said chiodini uh, the a little point which means that the, 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 the notes has to be played very short and with oh, no accent um, all in the, sa the same uh, forte uh, with not diminuendo or uh, not crescendo. we have sforzato, Mozart sforzato. No more than this, because you have to understand that if we were a soloist, we will play and we will we'll not play play in motor style so we have to play the same in the orchestra except not and here we have the same difficulties to do this accepts in the in the right way you have to understand that uh, there is uh, something we, which in italian uh, we call giro d'arco which is uh, a, a rotation of the bow from the lower string to the upper strings rotation allowed to the, the, the bow to make less movement if I if I not make the rotation the bow make a lot of streets with the rotation less movement and the result is with rotation with uh, giro d'arco without giro d'arco so try to study 
Then we have piano. Legato. Again. Again. Piano. 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 Crescendo. Non forte, non molto forte. Here we have sforzato in forte. Same ball, but no accent. Piano.